As many of you are aware, and I'm sure many of you will become more aware, in the Windows Store, they offer this new updated Windows Terminal application, which lets you run. You can add things to this, but by default, it can run any of these three things. You can open command prompts. You can have tabs. You can separate them if you'd like. You can run your PowerShell right in here. It's extremely handy. But unfortunately, it's very difficult to set it as the default terminal. When you run a program that automatically opens in a terminal window, it's always going to try to open in this one. And uh, I'm going to show you how to change it so that you can run batch files or whatever in a command prompt tab in this Windows terminal application instead. So what you're going to need to do here is going to need to go to this where your computer says this PC in the Explorer window, go to Properties. Then once we're in here, go to Advanced System Settings. And then in this window, you click on Environment Variables. You're going to find this one right here that says ComSpec. This is where it points to the terminal application. Ordinarily, it points to Windows System 32 command prompt cmd.exe, but we're going to change it so that it will run the Windows terminal instead. Now to do this, you have to find where the terminal is installed on your computer. And by default, all the Windows Store, Windows Store apps install to a hidden folder in Program Files, Windows Apps. And you won't be able to access this folder because they don't want you to access this folder. You can. You can go in and use the Security tab in here to take ownership of it which I had done when I was trying to figure out how to do it, but it, it's not necessary. You don't, you don't need to do that. I'll include a link to this form in the description, but we're going to use this guy's method here because this is kind of what we wanted to do, but not exactly. But it's on the right track. It helps us get the information we need to make this happen. So this one, and this will give us a list of detailed information about all of the apps from the Windows Store. So if we just uh, open a PowerShell here quick, I'm actually going to send it to just so that I can see it on my desktop there. You run that, and it'll pull up, make this text document here for us to look at and then control F and find terminal and this this folder path right here is what we're going to need this is where it, it's going to be so if we take this and we're going to copy that this path here and now we're going to we're going to go back into here back into the environment variables into this edit you're going to paste that that path in here and the one that you want is to add to the end you're going to add a slash forward slash and then wt.exe now for a long time i had been doing it just like this and it was i could not get it to work right like that nothing at the end of it but windows terminal is just a user interface for various actual shells so if you try to run, let's see if I can find an example. So I have a batch file server. I can run on a Minecraft server, that's a batch file. If I try to run this, it's going to stay following arguments I expected, slash C. Runs help. That's because it's trying down here. If you see this window, is popping up from Windows Terminal. So it's trying to do it, but it's, it doesn't know how to do it because you haven't told it what environment you want to run that in. So if you want this to open Windows Terminal, but always be a command prompt essentially, just a command prompt within Windows Terminal, then you need to add the argument at the end here, add a space, and then type CMD, and then save that. And then at that point, you should be good to go. Get rid of all this nonsense. All this nonsense. All right, where's the, where's the example? What was I doing? Find a batch file. Now if you run it, boom, right there. 
you should be good to go. I haven't run into any problems with this method yet. If somebody knows a, a better way to do this, I'd be happy to know, but I couldn't find anywhere online, at least within an hour of Google searching, that had any kind of instructions on how to change it so that this would just run by default. Hope that helps some of you else out there because it took me all morning to figure out how to do that.